welcome back to more Invincible. I'm here with my reaction to episode 5 from season 2. The break is over. Now, I've gone back through episode 4 just, you know, to remind myself of the absolute chaos that happened in that episode. Now, I don't believe, and maybe I'm stupid, but I don't believe that Omni-Man is dead. He has been taken away. Mark has been given the mission. Mark, he doesn't have a nasty bone in his body. Whereas Omni-Man, he kind of, he played that role really, really well. We also found out that Mark has a brother who's like a different species, so he ages a lot quicker. Maybe in that respect, the brother could hurry up and age and work with Mark so that they could take out the bad guys. I don't know. Debbie was trying to get her life back in order after everything that happened with Omni-Man, but we have seen that she's still having a lot of issues, especially when it comes up that Omni-Man was her husband and people are clearly very judgmental of that fact. And we have all the nonsense with the different dimensions as well. There's, just, there's a lot happening in this show and I'm just ready for some answers, please. <laughs> now, if you want to watch this unedited with me, make sure you head on over to my Patreon. The link is in the description. Or head on over to my website, suzylou.co.uk. Right, it's been so long. I'm ready. <sighs> yep. This is the damage that your kind does, Mark. This is the damage. They must know that he is not going to prepare the planet for their rule. They must know that he's going to try and have an uprising. What is all that red liquid? <laughs> it must be his blood. He has a hole in his body. Uh, this city. Andres. We can take you there. Aww. They're such good little people. You can understand why Nolan was wanting to protect this place. He genuinely wasn't this terrible guy. He wasn't the Omni Man, you know? He was Nolan, deep down. Nolan? Where's Nolan? <sighs> the Viltrumites took him. We have no time! We need to go after him! But then if we do, we're just gonna die. I don't know what we can do. Thraxan lives are short compared to yours. Our culture doesn't assign blame. We only look forward. Oh my god. Then I want to be a Thraxan, okay? I don't want to be a human that dwells in the past. Count on that. That means that Mark's brother is already a way better person than we could ever be. Thanks, but I can't go yet. There's still so much to do. Well, the city will be whole again soon. Your people must need your strength. Eh, there's tons of heroes on Earth. I'm sure they got it covered. But wait, so what happens to the brother as well when Mark leaves? Like, are we never gonna deal with him again? Like, or is he gonna come with us? No. <laughs> I'm sure you know your planet best. <laughs> Sorry, I don't know why that was so funny to me. <laughs> Big speech. No. It's time you returned home. But there is something else I must ask of you. Take your brother with you. <gasps> what are you talking about? You're his mom. Mark, look at me. Look how much older I am than when you first arrived. That is crazy. Then I don't know how long his brother's even going to stick around. I guess because he's got Nolan's genes in him. He should be okay. When Nolan was here, that was fine. He could be raised by his father. But now, everyone he knows here will soon be dead. But how is this going to 
gonna work. You're gonna take him back and Debbie is gonna freak. Wait, no, that's my time with Nolan was special. But he will know. My life has run its course. Oh, I didn't think I could feel this way about her. Please. Very soon you'll be all he has. And he will need someone. Ah! <laughs> killing me already. Oh, it's so beautiful. It's so beautiful, but oh my god, it's gonna cause so many problems. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry, Debbie, for what is about to happen to you. Forgot to give you this. It's from all of us at the office. For the house we sold? Kind of. Well... I think he's into you, maybe. But it's good to have you back. Thanks. Thank you, Paul. I think Paul's kind of into her a little bit. Maybe I'm misreading the room. I don't know. Hmm. Or maybe it's poison. Don't drink it, Debbie! <laughs> oh, Jesus, Mark. It's been two months. I try not to worry, but even Cecil's been frantic. He's... Oh. Yeah, so something happened. Who Don't freak that? out. You're gonna need the full ball for this. This morning, I didn't even know if Nolan was alive. I, I, I didn't even know if I wanted him to be alive. Now he's left another planet in ruins and his... His new kid is sitting in my kitchen. <laughs> it's so mental when you put it like that. What are we supposed to do with him? Children that age need constant care. Not only that, he's purple. I mean, I know that there is some heroes and whatnot that go on in this world, but still. What about Cecil? We can't. There's got to be other options. There is no way in hell you're putting Nolan's kid with Cecil. It'll just end up being tested on. What? He's my brother. And I, just, I can't just abandon him. <sighs> well, you must get it from my side of the family. <laughs> Don't even worry about it. See, by next week, he'll be a toddler. The week after that, he'll be in high school. <laughs> I'll figure something out. <laughs> Mm, but you're changing that diaper before you go anywhere. Like, Debbie is long done with changing nappies, so yeah, I can imagine how strange this full situation is for her. She took it a lot better than I would have. Sir, may I have a minute? We're a little busy, Donald, if you hadn't noticed. I need you to make time for... <sighs> Come on, Donald, you need to answer the question. Why am I alive? <laughs> Ask him! Everybody out! Don't make him say it again. I need the room. Now. Yeah, why is it when I cut myself, I still survive? Why is it when I blew up, I had no scars? Why am I still alive? Burned? Is that what you call this? Oh! <gasps> With respect, sir, what did you do to me? Wait a minute, so is it his body or did you just make a new Donald? Damn sight better than your old one, if you ask me. How? You were lucky. Omni-Man's body shielded you from most of the blast. When we pulled you out, your brain was intact. The rest of you, not so much. Oh my god, I have always wanted this to be a possibility so that if my body fails me, I could just go to a new one. There's no time for existential angst. Angst? That's what you call it? Jesus, Cecil. I knew you were cold, but I never knew uh, you were... Sirs? What? Oh my gosh. That's crazy, though, that that's what they did to him? I guess they really, really needed his expertise, huh? Although, I mean, his brain was intact. If you had the option and your brain was intact, would you not want to survive? I would be a robot lady. I would do it. You need to go see the dean, by the way. Something about academic probation. You said you'd cover for me. I did. For a while. 
Two months, Mark. That's more excuses than anyone can make up. Yeah, you can only have a sore stomach for so long. I saw my dad. Your dad? Look, I'll, I'll tell you all about it, but I need to see Amber first. Oh, sure. Ditch me for your girlfriend, why don't you? Yeah, that's not very nice. He was the one covering for you. <sighs> and when exactly were you planning to tell me you were back? Oh my gosh, man. Talk about give me some privacy. You promised if I put you in the field, you'd follow orders. You don't get to pick and choose when that applies. I saved millions of lives out there, Cecil. And it looks like everything here was just fine. Yeah. Things were just peachy. <laughs> I mean, come on. What's the point of having all these other superheroes if they can't deal with one problem? Oh, this guy doesn't look too good, though. What I did out there, what I found was important. Is he going to tell him what he found? Passive monitoring. Mostly certain keywords trigger a closer listen. <laughs> Unbelievable. You're angry about me not reporting in? I don't need to. You got cameras in my mom's house. It's not cameras. We would never do that. I mean, it's practically the same. So if she talks about Nolan, you can like listen in. I'll send a team to pick up Nolan's kid. <gasps> you can't. What are you gonna do? Leave him with your mom? He's an alien. We're more qualified to take care of him. No, you are not. I don't, don't, I don't trust him with him. They're already on their way. <sighs> Call them off now. Call them off or he's gonna get there faster. Fine. I'm sure your mom will love looking after her ex-husband's new kid. Yeah, okay, we knew it was going to be complicated, but it doesn't need to get even more complicated by you getting involved. <sighs> I didn't mean to be gone so long. It took me to this insane planet. <clears throat> Terrium in uh, Philadelphia when I, you know, when I was visiting my aunt. Guys, <laughs> they're like, why is your boyfriend so lame, girl? I thought Amber was just trying to brush off creepy dudes. Yep, <laughs> yep, very real over here. She's not around the last few, um... Months, maybe? Amber, we'll get your notes later. Nice meeting you, Mark. What happened out there? I don't even know where I would begin. I mean, everything that just happened to Mark is almost unbelievable. I failed a sociology test that's worth a third of my grade. Seriously? You? Yeah. My grandpa died. I didn't take it too well. Oh. Oh, man. That's such a shame and he wasn't there. I knew the deal when I signed on. Not just the superhero thing. All of it. Thought with my dad gone, he was at least done ruining my life, but... I don't think that this, though, this situation here is all your dad's fault. Like, I'm gonna give him some of the benefit of the doubt right here. Like, regardless, there is a lot of moving parts behind the scenes that whether Nolan was here or not, I think it's gonna happen. Oh my god! <laughs> Someone shut it down! Shut it down! Help. Help me. Hello? Why are you letting this happen? Sir. Sir? Are you alright, sir? What is it? There's something you need to see on our long-range scans, sir. What just happened there, though? That seemed like that was a memory of that robot thing actually choking him out. Was he okay after the fire and they chose to put him in? Maybe I'm looking way wrong into that. It's not his job to track my transformations. And it's not yours either. Logically, if there's a way to mitigate your lost time. If you get this controlling after one date, there's not gonna be another one. But he's just looking out for you. At the end of the day, you shouldn't be doing that every single day because then you're gonna end up a toddler, honey. You know people trying to kill us every single day, right? Just call, please. We have a problem. Don't you dare send them after Mark's brother. 
Ships coming from Mars, huh? I wonder if there's anyone here with insider knowledge of Mars. My wonder, suspicious. Prepare yourselves, for the truth may be more than you can handle. We know you're a Martian. What, you think we'd let you join the team without figuring that out? You all knew that? Son of a bitch. Oh, wait, he's the only one that didn't know. Oh, <laughs> awkward. I wanted to see the stars. This way! So when the opportunity presented itself, I took it. Well, that's kind of why it's like, can we trust him? I mean, he left one of us behind. I met all of you. Wait a second. What happened to the real astronaut? Well? Well, I mean, he got taken over by those things that really like to take them over. Okay, well, given our present situation and that big ship on its way here, one might assume, well, I mean, one might guess that this is kind of all your fault, yes. He possibly became a possessed host for the singular and terrifying sacred hive mind. I'm so sorry. <laughs> no big deal. I mean, <laughs> they possess the real Russ Livingston and they're capable of possessing a million more of us. And. It's all your fault. Yes, you understand now. Slap him. He needs a slap for that one. No, before I was lying. Now I'm telling the truth. It's very different. You left an American astronaut up there to die. Yeah, because he had these big dreams of coming to Earth. And now you're gonna get us all killed. Rudy, you go too. No, you don't understand. There are millions of sequids on that ship, maybe hundreds of millions. We won't be enough. Look, I realize this is out of character, but I have an idea. Oh, that is really out of character. But you know what? I'll take it right now. Can you imagine, though, if those things do hit Earth and they started taking over hundreds and thousands of us? I don't even think Mark could deal with that. Then we'd be begging for the Veltramites to come in and just take over Earth. I'm so shit. You know, it's been like five years and your parents still haven't fixed the lock on your window. I'm starting to wonder if maybe they want you to be abducted. Uh, if you know anything about her parents, then you're probably correct. My parents were right. Who do I think I am? Everybody fucks up. To fuck up is human. Shakespeare said that. The immortal, Black Samson, freaking robot, or Rudy, or whatever he calls himself now. Just because you have superpowers, it doesn't mean that you're immune from making mistakes. And I feel like this has been good for her because it's going to show her that, okay, you can make mistakes, but it's what you choose to do after. And that's what makes you the superhero. I hardly think about them now. Because you got through it. Then a hundred other battles with Teen Team. Through all of that, you've saved so many people. I never thought that he would be the one to actually open her eyes here. Like, I'm shocked at how he's acting just now. So dry your tears, tell your parents to go shove it up their asses, and get back out there, right? Alright. Thanks, Rex. But now what do you actually want, Rex? Why are you here? I do have a tiny favor to ask that involves a space rocket ship. Pew pew pew. Okay. Oh, and it's delicious. He's gonna eat the entire spoon. <laughs> what are we gonna do with you? You've got to like at least one human food. You need to give him Cheetos! Hey, do you know where dead stuff is? I got rid of most of it. Give it to charity. What? You, you could have asked me first. Well, you were gone for two months. And I couldn't live in limbo just waiting for you to come back. I can kind of see where she's coming from on this, though. Like, I wouldn't keep their stuff around. We got a ship full of those sequid things coming in hot from Mars. You remember them? Yeah. If they get their tentacles on Earth, they'll be pulling our strings forever. We need to stop them. Sure. But don't touch my brother, Cecil. Think about when you go back to work. You'll need a trained caretaker, not some 
neighborhood babysitter. We have people for that. That's our decision, not yours. See when somebody is as pushy as Cecil, especially about my alien brother, I'm gonna be suspicious, okay? Debbie, do not let him anywhere near the brother. I've forgotten his name. Did I ever know his name? I think he had a crazy name. Hey, Janny, you guys got plans tonight? Nah, everything's fine. Just want to take my mind off things. I was about to say I'm surprised that she doesn't have someone on the side, but then that's kind of harsh on her because she's never come across as that character ever. So we're not saying that. Hi. R Rex said you guys could use a hand. We could indeed. But will you be vulnerable to these creatures? Uh, you're not the only one who can make a suit of armor. Yes, queen! <gasps> I love Eve. She's like my girl fave. If you succeed, well, I taught you everything you know. If not, well, I guess we're all fucked. <laughs> Three, two, one. You gotta hold down the fort, Rex. You gotta take care of Earth. This guy's now the ranking guardian on Earth. <laughs> Says who? Uh, me. Just now. It's like calling shotgun. <sighs> but that's not how it works though, especially not in the Guardians. We're supposed to monitor other threats while they're gone. Oh, sure. Like there's gonna be two huge world shattering emergencies at the same time. Oh no! <laughs> I'd like to see that, Ray. Okay, what are the clones gonna do? <laughs> Actually, no, the clone took out the other clone. So if there was to be anything, it's gonna be him. Well, I, I know, I know it's not my break, but I, I miss lunch. Oh, get your damn snack and get out of- No! Oh, oh just give him a snack though! No! <laughs> Didn't give yourself much time to get back there, did you? Yes, yes sir. Oh, okay. Let's see how you handle this one, Rex. Or if you do at all. So Shapesmith here is going to answer all of our questions. I'd rather not, since those are Martian military secrets. Excuse me? This is all your fault, remember? It's very big. There could be millions of sequids on it, but hopefully not. They're small, but very strong for their size. Nice, okay. We should seek these Martians out, make contact. Ah, yes, my old chums. They, um, they may not be enthusiastic to see me. I imagine not. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say, you're a traitor that left them behind. So good, but it won't work. Why not? The warship sensors are very powerful. They'll know the difference between space garbage and whatever we are. You're telling us this now? Yeah, why didn't you help us have a plan a bit earlier? Shapesmith? Yes, those, look, th those are the missiles I was talking about. Oh, nice, are you very happy about this? Good for you. Close to me, now. Ooh. <laughs> Whoa, oh, great, we have nothing. The bloody ship is gone. Uh-oh. No, 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 keep ordering, Ray. Cecil just checking in to say hi, right? Cecil? Right? Something has gone terribly wrong, Rex, okay? And you, being our new number one, need to fix it. We have enough oxygen for at least 10 minutes. I'm not sure I can hold this together for 10 minutes. Everyone who can fly, push towards the ship. Oh, it's like a little bubble. We're like bubble gum trying to get in the ship. God she was here because they'd all be done for hey guys we have arrived we can withstand them Ooh. we can gross no oh. don't don't <gasps> got it they share minds now all the sick ones know you're here oh for goodness sakes well we took out one of them anyway only a hundred more thousand to go Oh my god! Just start punching! Du -du 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 -du. Relax. The king has a plan. Those nuclear blast doors, impenetrable from the outside, 
We sealed the tunnel so there's no other way in. Except for the small person. Los Angeles, Chicago. <laughs> oh! Die fast, assholes! My pizza's getting cold. Nice. You think you could stop us? You could not. You. We remember you. We can't pierce your skin. No matter. There will be others for our purposes. There's a reason that there's other people here, though. You're not gonna be able to pierce their skin either. Look at the size of it, though. We need like a hundred thousand people here. <gasps> yes. I disrupted their nervous systems, but they'll be awake again soon. Kill as many as you can while they're up. He's like a walking EMP. <laughs> That wasn't long, that was like 10 seconds! Oh, shit. Get close! It's like we're stuck in a waterfall of these aliens. Oh! Oh, God! Yuck, yuck, yuck! Just don't get the original one! She can keep doing this for a while anyways. Oh. Hey, hey. God, I don't know if you guys are gonna be okay with this. You need help. Oh. He is having such a good time. Not the original one! Rex! Rex! Rex, do something! Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, I'm freaking out! Oh my god! Kate! Oh no, she's not coming back from that! Oh my god, you guys! Please don't! Oh my god, I can! I can use my suit to build an amplifier for the pulse I used earlier. It'll hopefully stun them long enough for us to get Russ off this ship. But you'll need to protect me until I'm done. How long? Five minutes. We don't have five minutes. We've got like 10 seconds. Mark's gonna have to get out there. I can't watch this, please. No. Rex just had a like face turn or whatever. Oh, he's in his eye. Oh God, that's gross. That is disgusting, but deserves a clap. Oh, oh my God! Hey, idiot! She doesn't stay small. Oh! <laughs> oh God! I don't want to watch this. Oh my gosh. That is not what I expected. I thought he was gonna go boom. And she's gonna be okay. They're not gonna be okay. It's okay, Rex. Come on, Rex. Come on, Rex. He just wanted a pizza. I know I haven't been your number one fan, but come on. No! No! Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god. Fuck. But where's the main? No! So brave. But is it the brave man who survives? Or is it the one who wins <laughs> until his opponent is too injured to fight? Rags, come on! No! You got this. Come on, hold it together. You got this. I didn't think the three of them would get done like that. Ah! Eve's suit is gone. Eve's suit is gone. This episode is terrible. Everyone's gonna die. Wow. 
What? No, don't you dare end! Oh. Wow. Oh, wow. I'm not dead. Is that Alan? Oh, this is a nice surprise. Um. Hello? Oh, my hello? God! <laughs> well, this is great. <sighs> oh no. Oh no, 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 no! Don't, don't! Oh, I broke, I broke it. I broke it! Oh, this thing. I bet this is, oh, I bet this is expensive. <laughs> huh. Huh. Would you look at that? He is okay! When we brought you here after the Viltrumite attack, I turned off your life support machine and left you to fend for yourself. What? Why? Why would you do that? I knew without it, you would either die or recover stronger than before. That's not nice, man. I was not over it. Alan's had the best episode this season yet. I appreciate your vote of confidence, but I'm not going to ask for a rematch anytime soon. If I even see another Viltrumite, I'm going to... Oh! That must have been painful! Alan, I need you to go back to Earth and bring Invincible here. He is the key to turning the tide of this war. Yes! Epic, epic! So freaking good, you guys. Oh, I just can't believe. Oh, sorry, I just get so excited with this show. What is gonna happen to Eve? Like, I'm really scared for her. Alan is alive! He's alive! Ah, oh, Just... Like, can you see how happy I am about that? Oh, man. I can't believe, though, Kate got done in. Like, that was horrendous. And to be honest, the other girl whose name escapes me, the fact that she grew big inside of him but it it's the way that rex was like oh yeah she also grows big making you think that she's gonna turn the tide here and that basically the bad guy's gonna just like explode or whatever and then she like gets stuck in him and just gets crushed to death ew that was too much for me too much for me now based on what we learned about donald I trust Cecile minus one point. Like, I just don't trust him at all. So I want to make sure that Mark's bro don't end up anywhere near him. That's so good, though. Like, such good news that we have an ally, you know, that someone has tried to rebel against them before. And Alan needs to go and get invincible so that we can make this happen, you know? I know that technically that wasn't meant to be like the mid-season break. We should have just gone on from like episode four to episode five, but we had to wait a little bit. I just think that all these episodes in season two have just been banging like one after the other after the other. And yeah, I cannot wait for next week. But yes, yeah, very sad that we lost a couple of our guardians not cool and fingers crossed that rex will be okay he didn't kill him we didn't see him die all should be well we'll see all right you guys thank you so much for watching my reaction and i'll see you all in the next one bye